This time, the revolution will be televised. Televised. The revolution will be televised. To the detriment of flawed authorities. To be compatible with human rights, the law must promote a legitimate purpose. A legitimate purpose. Be the least intrusive of all available instruments. And reflect a well-adjusted balancing of the right to freedom as measured against society's need for protection. It is the state's responsibility to show that this is the case, and the European Court of Human Rights has been called upon to decide on the merits of the prohibition quest. As Germany and other nations intend to regulate the cannabis market, the rule of law depends on clarification. To the extent that a regulated cannabis market is better suited to protect public health, protect public health, the prohibition cannot be necessary in a modern society. Modern society and a human rights analysis is needed. Such an analysis looks at the relationship between means and ends, and several international courts have found a legitimate interest in cannabis use. No court has yet confirmed a right to safe access. A right to safe access. Safe, safe, safe access. access. Even so, the wickedness inflicted on society by alcohol prohibition was nothing compared to the prohibition of drugs, and it is not possible to talk about human rights without allowing for a regulated market. For a regulated market. Within few years, most Europeans will live in a country that regulates the cannabis industry, and the European court has been asked to inquire, one, if there is a right to use cannabis, and two, if this right includes access to a safe supply. Both the Council of Europe's Parliamentary Assembly and the Pompidou Group have lamented the court's lack of guidance. Germany, Malta, Holland, Luxembourg, and other liberal nations need rights to be resolved, rights to be resolved, to continue the legalization of cannabis. And as moral panic has been determined to be the engine of drug policy, it is time for the tension between human rights and drug prohibition to be addressed. The European Court has a responsibility to 700 million people under its jurisdiction to ensure that the prohibition fulfills a legitimate purpose and you are invited to follow Norwegian activists on a quest for justice. Quest for justice. Quest for justice. In a three-part series, the problem with the drug policy and human rights will be expanded upon. The judgment of the European Court will be presented, and the foundation for a new territory of sovereignty explained. This time, the revolution will be televised. To the detriment of flawed authorities.